Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Welcome. Good to have you with us. As part of our 15-week festival inspired by the documentary series The Story of Film and Odyssey, we have more for you right now in our look at some of the American movies made in the late 60s and 70s talked about in that series. It was really a revolutionary era in American movie making with maverick filmmakers doing what they could to wrest control of the movie industry from long-seated studio bosses so the newcomers could tell more realistic, gritty stories on film. Over the next few hours, we're going to show several more examples of films made at that time. We'll also be showing an encore presentation of Episode 9 of the series, which examines this particular era. But first, we have a fascinating crime drama from 1973 called Badlands, a movie that was the big hit of that year's New York Film Festival, and a movie many still rhapsodize about today, 40 years after it first caught attention. It stars Martin Sheen and Sissy Spacek. It was made back before either of them had become well-known movie names. At the time, Sissy had appeared in only two other films, her breakthrough performance in Carrie still three years in the future. Sheen had a higher profile, though, thanks to films such as The Subject Was Roses and Catch-22. People knew him and respected him, but he hadn't caused any bonfires in Hollywood or with moviegoers at that time. The story told in Badlands is based on a real-life fellow named Charles Starkweather and his girlfriend, Carol Ann Fugit who in 1958 kept the people of Nebraska terrified for several weeks after they killed Fugit's parents and then fled, eluding the police. As with Bonnie and Clyde, their crime spree eventually led to the death of many people. Well, for the film, the names of the main characters have been changed to Kit and Holly, and a few other details have been altered as well, but the story in the film is essentially as it happened in real life. Here from 1973, and the first feature film directed by a 29-year-old Terrence Malick. Here's Badlands.